Hello friends, welcome to Rajesh Data Engineering. In this video, I am going to talk about how to schedule Databricks notebook so that it can run at regular intervals. In order to schedule Databricks notebook, there are uh, popular concepts or popular tools such as Airflow, ADF and workflow concept within Databricks itself. Coming to Airflow, this is open source product. This is part of Apache and this is open source. ADF, it is specific to Azure product. Azure Data Factory can be used building ETL pipelines and also scheduling ADF and also other pipelines. In this case, it is Databricks pipeline. And the next inbuilt option within Databricks is workflows. I have already posted one video about uh, workflows, uh, how to schedule uh, Databricks notebooks using Databricks uh, workflows. Each and every option is having its own advantages and disadvantages. In this tutorial, I am going to explain how to schedule Databricks notebook using Azure Data Factory. Let's get started with the demo. I have logged into my Databricks environment. My cluster is also up and running. So in this demo, I'm going to use one simple ETL pipeline. This use case I have already explained in uh, my previous uh, videos. In case you have followed my previous videos, you, uh, you might be aware of this use case. So I'm pulling uh, the data for one of the table from Azure SQL database. Then I am writing the output into Azure Data Lake Storage. It's very simple use case. So in the first cell, I'm defining the JDBC connection so that the Databricks can pull the data from Azure SQL. And in the second step, I'm uh, creating the data frame using the JDBC connection, which we defined in the previous uh, step. And also you, uh, by uh, giving one of the table, I'm pulling the data and creating data frame. And the next step, in order to write the data into Azure Data Lake Storage, we have to create mount point. Uh, I have already created mount point. That is the reason I have commented, uh, commented that out in the cell. If you don't know what is mount point, I have already posted videos about that. So you can refer that. In the final step, I am writing the uh, data frame output into Azure Data Lake Storage in the location um, table. You know, it is going to create one folder table underscore output and uh, it would be appended with current timestamp. It will create a new folder. Within the folder, it will write the output of uh, the tab table, you know, the output of your data frame. It's very simple architecture. So coming to my Azure SQL, this is my Azure SQL. Within that I have, um, this is my database. Within that I have a table employee, which is having two columns, one row. It's very simple. And coming to my data lake storage, uh, I have uh, data lake storage, ADLS Raja DE demo. Within that I have a container demo. Within that currently we don't have any folder, table output underscore some timestamp. Currently we don't have anything. But when we schedule and uh, it is getting executed, then we can see the output here. Right. I hope you understood the entire architecture. So uh, we have Databricks pipeline, which is connecting to Azure SQL. From there it is pulling the data for one of the table and writing the output into Azure Data Lake Storage under demo. Right. Now. In order to schedule this uh, program, I have developed my ETL pipeline. I have tested it is working fine. Let us assume you know, every day morning I have to execute this at um, certain uh, not duration. Maybe every day morning at 8 o'clock I need to schedule. This should be executed. So in order to achieve that requirement, we can uh, go with multiple options as I told earlier. Even we can go with workflow within Databricks or we can go with Airflow or we can go with Azure Data Factory. Even we have few more options in the market. But in this uh, tutorial, we are going to focus more on Azure Data Factory. So let me get into my Azure Data Factory. So first of all, we need to create one pipeline. That pipeline should invoke Databricks uh, notebook. So for that, we have to create a new pipeline. So I have already created a pipeline. Uh, in this pipeline, we have to use the activity note, Databricks notebook activity that is available under Databricks category. Or we can search in the search uh, bar as well notebook. So I have already added that activity. Coming to this activity, it is um, uh, it is asking uh, the linked service. Linked service is nothing but you know, the connection, uh, you know, how we can uh, connect ADF and Databricks. So uh, I have already created one uh, linked services and it's, um, uh, it's, it's integrating well with Databricks. So my connection is successful. So in my previous video, I have covered how to create this uh, linked services. 
in case uh, you haven't watched my previous videos i highly recommend to watch that right in the next step we have to choose the notebook so in this case i am going to use adf uh, trigger okay this is the notebook i have created so uh, in order to choose that notebook we have to go to settings and notebook path we have to browse then it is taking us to databricks environment within that we can choose the right folder where we are having our uh, notebook so this is the notebook i have already selected let me close this in case we are having any parameters then we can pass in this notebook i don't have any parameter so i am not passing so i have tested this uh, pipeline as well this is working fine so whenever we are going to execute this pipeline what happens is you know it will invoke uh, the databricks notebook and databricks notebook will pull the data from azure sql and it will write the output into azure data lake storage i hope you understood the flow uh, you are able to connect all the dots in this architecture fine i have tested this um, uh, pipeline it is working now the last part is we have to schedule i don't want to run this pipeline manually so every day morning you know as per my requirement i have this uh, particular pipeline should be triggered so what we can do for that we can go with the concept of triggers within azure data factory basically we are having three different types of triggers one is schedule based using which we can schedule a pipeline at regular intervals we can fix particular time you know for every 15 minutes or every day at particular this time or once in a week once in a month you know based on a particular schedule we can trigger the pipeline the second method is event based trigger so in the event based trigger whenever certain event happens for example one new file is getting um, loaded into uh, blob storage or one file is getting deleted now these are kind of different events even based on event we can uh, trigger the third option is tumbling window so we have to create uh, uh, some uh, schedule based on particular window you know, for every 5 minutes we want to create separate windows then we can go with tumbling window i uh, i will post a separate video about uh, these you no know, types of triggers more in detail but in, but in this video we are going to see schedule based trigger so in order to create the trigger there are two ways one is get into this pipeline this is our pipeline then click on add trigger then click on new edit then we can choose new then it is opening one form that we can fill this is nothing but basically defining one trigger trigger is not attached to any particular pipeline which means it is not specific to any pipeline we are defining the template and that trigger can be attached with any any number of uh, pipelines it's many to many relationship except tumbling window it's many to many relationship so basically based on this form we are defining particular schedule so this is one way of one way of defining trigger otherwise let me cancel another way of defining uh, a trigger is getting it to manage plate within that we can see option triggers there are many options within this uh, we can see triggers then we can click on uh, create trigger or new both will open the same form so here we have to give some meaningful name in this case i am going to give azure data bricks uh, schedule trigger demo this is the uh, name i am giving for this trigger then in case we have to give some description some command we can give that is optional coming to type as i told earlier you know we are having uh, different types of uh, schedule one is a schedule based another one is uh, tumbling window another category is event based it could be storage event or custom events in this case we are going to uh, we are going to create a schedule based trigger right i am choosing that one then start it from when we want to start i want to start uh, now itself and uh, the time zone by default it would be utc if you have to change we can change that as well but i am going with same right then i am going to tell uh, the recurrence uh, by default it is giving uh, trigger this um, schedule for every 15 minutes maybe i can tell you know every day i want to run so we can choose you know here we are uh, we can see options minutes hours days those things so i am going to choose every day every 15 days now it's a meaning of uh, this now i am going to remove this 15 so every one day so every single day run this one at which duration we have to run i am going to tell run this around currently it's um, 6 o'clock now i can give 6 that is hours time let me give 10 10 minutes so in another 2 uh, minutes it will execute so um, now in case we have to specify some end date we can do that as well but i am uh, i am not going with that option so this is how we can define the schedule right now 
uh, this is done. We have defined the template. Let me give OK. Now it has created the trigger. So the important thing is we have to publish. Otherwise, it will not be enabled. So let me publish. It is published now. And I can enable that as well. So current uh, status is it is stopped. I can enable. It is started. Now let me go back to my uh, pipeline. Within my pipeline, I have to attach the trigger. For that, I can go to new edit. Then I can attach the trigger that we have created now. It is going to open the same form. So it's the same template, whatever we have defined. Let me give OK. And it is telling, no, we have to make sure publishing. Otherwise, it will not be activated. So let me publish this pipeline change as well. Now it is done. That's it. Now we have what we have done is we have created one trigger. Trigger is nothing but it's a kind of template. It's a configuration. At uh, what is the name of that? At which interval we have to run? What kind of uh, trigger? You know those informations are defined within that template. So we have given name for that uh, trigger. Then finally coming back to our uh, pipeline, we have attached that trigger. That's it. This is the end-to-end -end process. Now we have created trigger. What happens is as per the schedule. As per our definition, ideally it should have started this time, by this time. So in order to monitor, I can go to this monitor tab and I can get into uh, trigger, then here I can see. Now this is uh, my local time and here it has um, uh, completed the trigger. This is the trigger that we have created just now and it has completed. Now let, let me get into my data lake storage in order to check if it has uh, produced the output. So let me refresh. Here we can see the output. So this particular trigger invoked ADF pipeline and ADF pipeline invoked Databricks notebook. Databricks notebook pulled the data from Azure SQL and, uh, uh, and uh, returned the data into Azure Data Lake Storage. This is the entire flow. Here with, now onwards without any manual intervention, this particular pipeline will be executed every day uh, morning uh, 6 o'clock at 10 minutes. Okay, that is the schedule we have given. And we can um, not only on daily basis, we can give uh, on uh, minutes or hourly basis or weekly basis, monthly basis. And we can customize that uh, schedule according to our need. This is the way, you know, how we can uh, define uh, a schedule, a scheduler in uh, ADF and using that we can call Azure Data Bricks Notebooks. I hope you understood and enjoyed this concept. If you like the content of this video, please like and comment in the channel. Also, please subscribe this channel and don't forget to click on the bell button. Thank you.